uh, pilchers established, New anyway. Just as many pilchers being there in purse ends and stuff as what he ever was. I can tell you what happened to the pilchers, boy. We had a successful pilcher industry in Goa, and we had cannon factories in every port, Mavagizzi, Low, New Lane. We all had cannon factories. Then, with the government in that wanted to sell Ford cars to South Africa, but the South Africans come back and said, yeah, you can put all the Ford cars you like out there, but you can build yours. What not to do with fish? Nothing to do with the fish, whatever. He was to do with the market for the fish. Going back in my early days, when I was a youngster in Marysville, all the pilchers were sold aid and sent to Italy. You know, the toast used to be health to the Pope and lay the blood run in the streets. And that was pilcher blood. Because while we had Roman Catholic countries out there that ate fish every Friday, and even though we was racist, so we used to say health to the Pope and lay the blood run in the streets. And that's what he was all about. In our loft in Merzel, there was a fleet of air nets and a fleet of pilcher nets. You spent all the winter in their mending. Every hour you were in from sea, that was poor weather, you were up there mending. You were all the winter making pots. Went pot in in the summer, and then you were making pots all the winter. The staple diet of the Newlin people, who were a very poor race years ago, was just salt fish, dippy, which is a white sauce flavored with mustard and boiled potatoes. Let's get it right, all right. We made a living, but it was a way of life. He wasn't, a, wasn't, a, he wasn't something that you made anybody fortune out of. It was a way of life that you were brought up with. Well, the ice works was built in 1908. Previous to which time, the ice was imported. Natural ice cut from the fjords in Norway. When they built the ice works, they sank an 80-foot borehole and built a reservoir with a capacity of 80,000 gallons at Sheffield. That's on the way to La Morna. That's at the top of Paul Hill. And uh, we've got 440-foot head of pressure. And years ago, they used to say if they put the fire hydrant on the fire hose, it would go over the roof with no, no trouble whatever. On an average, we're putting out 60, 70 tons of flake ice per day. Along came the flake machines for the macro, and originally it was just one small machine for packing. And then the fishermen decided, well, this is a better ice, it doesn't damage the fish. Well, now the demand is flake, and you've got a job to get the boats to take hard ice. And all they have to do is to leave little fish in each box, and you haven't got the weight of the next box compressing the hard ice into the fish, so you wouldn't bruise them. And the hard ice will last a lot longer than what flake does aboard boat. But uh, there's very few boats that prefer the hard ice today. The only spot really is in the hopper where the flake ice is stored, and that is cold. And the, the chaps that dig the flake ice out, they're the ones who got the cold job.
but I'm the Newlyn man. You've even got them now all yourn up if you live that side of Newlyn. You still hear it, but when I was a boy, I mean, it was rife. Ah, oh, you're uptowner, get back where you belong. No, I'm proud to be a newly man, proud to be a Cornishman. You said 36. 35, 5 0. See you, fella, again. Coming in at 35. 35, 50 anywhere. 35 pounds. Well, start me on those somewhere. 30 and 3. 14 pounds have been offered. 14, yeah. 50. 50. 1550, yeah. 6, 1550, 1750, yeah. 8, about 1750, yes. out of 4, 50, yes. out of 5, 50, yes. out of 4, 50, yes. out of 6, 50, 60. Don't sell that chest, 50. 8, 3, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, you can always tell someone who's inexperienced. Usually, obviously, it's because they're a new face. Or, um, you know that someone works for another company and they've never bought before. So it gives you a, an advantage and you can have a bit of fun sometimes, which is a bit naughty, but you can. Yes, I mean, there's winks, there's nods, there's pokes, there's pinches, there's uh, various ways of attracting the attention of the auctioneer. Of course, someone who don't attract his attention at all and he misses your bit, but uh, not very often. 29.50 found fish. There we are, huh? Don't take him, my bid. I didn't see you, sir, bid. There we are. Any more prime out of the boat? close enough to you, aren't they? Any more prime out of the boat? No. Carry on the next boat. Threads on the end, then. Good three quarters. There's always dispute on him. I was in, no, you weren't. You know, uh, you're always going to get that. If it's moving its feet, it's going to happen. It's usually sorted out with a toss of a coin. You know, I mean, sometimes uh, things are said, they're not really meant, you know. Call someone names that you shouldn't call them, and you get called names that you shouldn't get called. But it's only in the heat of the moment that you get the next boat and it's forgotten.
recién cogida. Pues sí, exacto, yo va. ¿Cuántos quieres, señora? Cito, cito, copión, eres ancha pulmón. It's a box, as you can see. Um, we put oak chippings here on the floor, which burn very, very slowly. And the fish um, is hung here so that it collects the maximum amount of smoke. Obviously, the fish must be fresh to start with. It isn't pointless in smoking anything that's old or, um, you know, past it. It's a very small amount of smoke coming out, but once the doors are closed, that will be enough to give the fish the color that I want. As far as I can uh, trace back, it started in 1872 with my great-grandfather. And uh, there was lots of herrings in St. Ives at that time, and they were smoking herrings and sending them away by the train load, I believe, um, you know, by the early 19th century, early 20th century, yeah. And as I say, it's been a family business, and we've just continued smoking in the traditional way. I think originally um, fish was smoked to preserve it. Um, and then, of course, people got used to this flavor. And we now smoke everything from salmon to gurnard, monkfish, haddock, cod, ling, hake I've even tried. I think at one time we had about 12 different sorts of smoked fish that we'd done ourselves. I suppose the main, the main object of a fishmonger is to provide the best quality and the most varied species he can to the general public, as far as the fishmonger is concerned. Um, how he goes about that, I mean, varies from monger to monger. But the main object, of course, is to provide the best quality fish that we can find. Locally, the, the favourites are pollock and cod and ling. Uh, there's a range of flatfish, of course, the place, um, lemon soles, megram. And then you go to the more expensive range, the turbot, brill, John Dory. And we can bring red mullet into it sometimes if they're not too expensive. Uh, this grey mullet comes in. And you've got the squid. Occasionally we'll sell a little bit of octopus, but not a lot. We do sell quite a bit of squid. Um, and then there's your mackerel, herrings, sprats, pilchards. Uh, pilchards are coming back in, which is nice to see. It's the old faithful in the village pilchard. You know, the old soused pilchard is, is, is super. Or the scrowler, as in the old days, which was a toasted pilchard. It was split open and literally toasted on the old Cornish range. And it got the name of a scrowler. I suppose it was curled up a little bit on the edges, it got burnt. But they're super to eat. And be nice and dry and pick it up almost like a, like a biscuit. So that's lovely. When I was at sea, we have fish for breakfast every day. Every day. Well, every evening, the cook would go around and ask what you wanted for breakfast next morning. And you could have what you like for breakfast as long as you fit. Do you know, we come in for a refit, and you put the boat on the slip and have a refit, and you wouldn't be ashore more than three days, you'd start getting fish hungry. And you would have to go down on that damn market, fish, and take home a frying to get getting into it, and this is true. Fish, 